Hello and welcome to my studio. And I'm glad you could join me today uh, for this next uh, drawing. Going through uh, Pixabay photographs, this uh, was one picture that inspired me. It's a beautiful uh, scene of a, a barn up in the, the mountains. I'm not sure exactly where it is, but uh, it's beautiful nonetheless and inspired me to uh, try drawing it. I'm starting off here with not the, the shell of the building, but uh, one of the doors. I thought I would uh, start with the door and go across, uh, matching the, uh, the size and the placement of the various parts of the building. comparing one, one to another as I went along, just to get the relative sizes of the, uh, the different parts. I think it worked quite well in this case. It's an interesting uh, building, part stone, part There isn't too much perspective to worry about in this one, being a straight on view of the building. But there are so many parts to it, uh, openings and doors and shovels and whatever, to make it an interesting, an interesting sketch. few shapes of stones in there to show that it, it's a stone wall. Nothing too detailed, just a couple just to make, uh, make you know what's there. There's even kind of a little story that you could put to this one for sure. There's the, uh, the rakes and the shovels and a, and a pile of um, pile of hay or whatever it is there from the stalls. I used to work at a horse stables in uh, Victoria, near Victoria, BC, so I, I kind of know what it could be mixed with the hay, but we won't talk about that. So using the the, uh, the bottom doors and openings and uh, as a reference, I go up to the next level and put that opening in. Get some nice dark lines in for the uh, dark openings. You could make them solid black, but it's, it gives a little bit more interest if you leave some white in there as well. It gives you the impression that there's something back inside as well, not just one big dark void. lining up the peak with what's underneath it in the photograph to get the uh, the roof. And you might notice I'm always um, uh, keeping my hand on the paper when I'm doing these long lines as well, which helps uh, one to keep your hand steady, and it does help in uh, getting a straight line. Not that I'm making too many straight lines, but... I 
helps it go in the right direction anyway. I said before that um, you know I'm going through Pixabay photographs, and this one struck my my uh, interest, piqued my interest. Is that the word? Um, it's hard to say what uh, what catches your eye and uh, what uh, you think would make a, a good sketch. It's hard to uh, hard to explain to somebody else. Kind of like like when uh, when your uh, your grandchildren come up to you and, and look at your drawing and say, "Wow, how did you do that?" It's, it's a hard question to answer. A lot of it is um, practice. A lot of it is just instinct. It's a lot of experimentation in it as well over the years that you doodle and you draw and you come up with different uh, things that uh, please you because that's what art is all about in the end really. It's uh, something that gives you uh, pleasure no matter what style and what, what it looks like, what medium it is. If it gives you and, uh, and uh, others pleasure when you look at it then it's achieved um, what you set out to do and not all drawings turn out either some drawings you'll do and you'll think uh, it's going along quite quite well but then after uh, this and there's something that's not quite right about it. Can't put your finger on it. But there's something. There are a lot of trees on the hills behind the, the barn, but I decided to just give it a very sparing what's the word? Application? kind of give a very vague idea that there is something back up on the hills and you, and you hope that the viewer uh, without having seen the photograph will kind of understand that those are trees and little lines that you do closer up is, uh, is grass A lot in these drawings relies on uh, symbolism, really, and uh, people's um, uh, knowledge and memory of the world. Because I imagine if uh, if somebody from Mars, say, landed, and um, you showed them this drawing and uh, you know assuming they, they didn't have trees and, and things on on Mars um, would they understand what that was or is the viewer using 
their memory of the world and what the world looks like. To finish up a lot of the drawing when you just see little symbols of things, little lines and dots and dashes. Anyway, here's to memory and um, thank you for joining me. Uh, I really enjoy you coming by and I love the comments I get and um, the community that is uh, is kind of growing. Friends. From all around the world, actually. So this is just uh, wonderful. It makes me feel great. So thanks for watching, everybody, and uh, take care, and we'll talk to you again.